Hello students, in this video we are going to discuss 5.14, 5.15 and 5.16 from work energy and power. A molecule in a gas container hits horizontal wall with a speed 200 meter per second and angle 30 degrees with a normal and rebounds with the same speed. Is momentum conserved in the collision? Is the collision elastic or inelastic? The situation here is look like this. This is a horizontal wall and this is a normal the gas molecule hits the wall by making an angle 30 degrees with the normal and rebounds with same angle and here the velocity is 200 meter per second and the final velocity also 200 meter per second. Is the momentum conserved in collision? Either the collision is elastic or inelastic, the momentum is always conserved. So, the momentum is always conserved and is the collision elastic or inelastic the collision will be decided either elastic or inelastic based on the conservation of kinetic energy so the initial kinetic energy is equal to half m u square this is due to the gas molecule and the kinetic energy of the wall will be zero that is half mass of the molecule is not given just you can take half m into 200 whole power 2 that is equal to m into 200 2 into 10 power 2 whole square you can write so 4 into 10 power 4 divided by 2 that is 2m into 10 power 4 that is joule we can assume while coming to the final energy final kinetic energy is equal to same thing half m u square plus sorry half m v square plus 0 here also half m into 200 whole square that is also giving us 2m into 10 power 4 joule here the initial kinetic energy before collision is equal to final kinetic energy that is after the collision therefore the collision is elastic
coming to 5.15. A pump on the ground floor of building can pump up water to fill the tank of volume 30 meter cube in 15 minutes. The tank is 40 meter above the ground and the efficiency of the pump is 30 percent. How much electric power is consumed by the pump? We can assume that from the ground the tank is at certain height forty meters. And the volume of the tank is 30 meter cube. So that means the mass of the water will becomes is equal to volume into density of the water that is 30 into 10 power 3 kilogram per meter cube that is 3 into 10 power 4 kilogram. So therefore output power can be taken as work done divided by time taken. Here work done is equal to amount of potential energy that is mgh divided by t. So this is 3 into 10 power 4 g is 9.8 into 40 divided by time taken is 15 minute. So 15 into 60 in SI system. This is 39,200 by 3 watt. But given the efficiency, eta is equal to output power divided by input power. So why we are using the formula? The efficiency of the pump is given that is eta value. How much electric power is consumed? That means input power will be the electric power consumed. That is why we are using this one into 100 percent. That is equal to we can write input power that is output power divided by eta into 100 that is 339200 divided by 3 and eta value is 30 into 100. So after simplification we will get it is 43.6 into 10 power 3 watt that is also nothing but 43.6 kilo watt. This is the electric power consumed by the pump but the output it is giving only 39,200 divided by 3 watt because of lower efficiency. Its efficiency is only 30 percent. Coming to 5.16, two identical ball bearings in contact with each other and resting on frictionless table are hit head on by another ball bearings of the same mass moving initially with speed b. 
if the collision is elastic which of the following is possible result for after collision so we can check this one this part is before collision and these cases 1 2 3 are after collision so which case either case 1 or case 2 or case 3 which is suitable with the initial work we have to identify in the question it is given as elastic collision so elastic collision momentum is conserved and kinetic energy also conserved based on kinetic energy we will decide which case is suitable for this the key concept behind this one is kinetic energy before collision ke i is equal to here the first particle is assume that its mass is m and moving with velocity v its uh, kinetic energy is half m v square and uh, but the particle 2 and 3 are at rest so their kinetic energy will be taken as zero the total kinetic energy is nothing but half m v square take it as equation number 1 case 1 in this the first particle is at rest and particle 2 and 3 combinedly together are moving with velocity v by 2 so therefore case 1 kinetic energy is equal to for the first particle kinetic energy is 0 for the 2 and 3 particles of total mass is 2m both are moving together with v by 2 velocity so v by 2 whole square this value is nothing but 1 by 4 mv square coming to case 2 in this case to first and second particle together with velocity 0 but particle 3 is moving with velocity v so in this case kinetic energy is equal to 0 plus half m v square that is equal to half m v square and for case 3 kinetic energy is equal to these three particles are moving together with velocity v by 3 so half the sum of the mass of these three identical particles can be taken as 3m into v by 3 whole square we will get this 1 by 6 mv square if you observe equation number 1 that is initial kinetic energy and final kinetic energy in case 1 case 2 case 3 case 2 and initial kinetic energy both are equal therefore we can write that case 2 is the only possible result of the collision so in this diagram for this one second case will be suitable case thank you